What's up guys, it's Laser, and if you guys can't already tell by my voice, I am extremely excited because I have finally, I believe anyway, I have finally found a Call of Duty, a modern Call of Duty that I think I will enjoy. Um, I've got Advanced Warfare, obviously, and um, so far to me it looks like a really great game. I really enjoy it. Um, there's some things about the game that are kind of weird like just then when I just died um, I think I should have gotten that kill but um, you know hey it's Call of Duty I'm not trying to be too judgmental about it because it's the first night it is day zero we are playing with just a handful of people right now which is surprising I thought more people were gonna be online um, but because um, it, it, does, it does take a little a little bit you know, a little bit of time to find the find the matches but other than that I think it's just an amazing game I went to pre-order it uh, I went to the pre-order thing, and uh, everyone was all out there for the midnight uh, midnight release. And um, we were originally going to get, we were originally going to get it at 11 o'clock today, 11 o'clock p.m. because they get it at 12 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast, and it just wouldn't be fair for them to be already leveled up by the time we get on, and everyone be powerhouse on the East Coast. And you know, I, I thought that was cool. Um, but we got the game 30 minutes early. Um, they started handing it, handing the game out at uh, 10.30, and I just thought that was awesome. I got home at 10.43, downloaded the game, didn't have to download it directly to my to my hard drive. I bought a jump drive, a 32 gigabyte jump drive, it cost me 20 bucks, and I didn't have to delete any of my save game data from other games. Um, it was, uh, the game, the game downloaded fast, uh, I, I just really enjoy it. Most of all, I really enjoy the gaming interface. Um, it's highly competitive, as we we thought it was going to be. Um, it's it's just it's very intense. Everything about the game is intense. Um, you're you're almost never safe, and that's one thing about it that really keeps you on your toes. Uh, just right then, I thought I was gonna get that guy. I thought that guy was gonna pop out. But the thing is, you know, everyone can fly now. We're all flying. Um, everyone can, um, oh, that guy just saved my life right there. Thanks, dude. I think I thanked him in game. Um, anyway, um, people, people can get, people can move a lot faster than they could back in the, in the other games. And we were playing that on, at the, at GameStop and we were just amazed on how fun it was, um, to fly and to move at incredible speeds. And the thing that makes it cool is everyone can do it. So, not only are you jumping around being awesome, every, the other people are as well, and that kind of makes it balanced to me. Every, so, you don't feel like, it, you know, like, oh man, you know, I'm so angry that I missed that kill because that guy, he did some fancy maneuver. Well, you can do the same thing, and often when you encounter your enemies, you, they're all doing these amazing maneuvers, you know, and pretty soon, and after you land a kill, if you go 5 and 15 in a match, if you land a kill and you look at your kill cam and you're just like, I mean, I mean, well, after you get the kill, you're just like, man, that was really cool. <laughs> yeah, I totally jumped backwards and shot that guy in the ass. You know, I, I feel like a hoss right now. You know, that, that, those kinds of things right there, that, that makes the game worthwhile. Um, one, one favorite game mode that we played at GameStop was the uplink uh, thing, was which is kind of like a, a griff ball kind of thing if you guys ever played halo um it's it's basically you know you pass the ball to your teammates and you try to get it into the goal like you literally have a ball and you can throw it into the enemy um enemy's basket and that scores points if you dunk it if you jump with it and throw it in there you get two points and i just think that that was that was a lot of fun um i did very well on that uh i really enjoyed that as well um so about this gameplay, um, I didn't, I didn't do awesome in this game, but this is just a first look on M. Uh, I'm sorry, a first look on uh, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare for me. Uh, this was the first, no, the second game that I've, I've I played online. Um, I have the gold uh, AK-12, which is one of the guns that we get in the, in the game I have the golden version because I have the I got the day zero uh, Call of Duty um, there weren't a lot of people at the GameStop that I went to so I assume that they're going to be getting rid of those day zero game GameStop copies 
um, and just giving them to people who come and buy the game late. Um, so I, you know, I really don't think it's anything special. Um, to be honest with you, I'm surprised that none of these other guys who are playing Day Zero, the, the Day Zero version with me getting all the double XP, I'm surprised that they did weren't using their gold weapons and gold exo gear. Um, they earned it, uh, but. You know, I guess I was also happy about that because, I mean, if everyone's wearing the, the stuff and using the gold weapons and everything, it's not really that cool. Uh, so what I'm planning on doing uh, is uploading at least two videos a, a week, doing class setups, and basically that's pretty much all I'm going to do, class setups and things like that, because I don't foresee myself doing just completely killing it and doing commentaries like on MW3. So if you guys would be interested in something like that, I really recommend you subscribe or, you know, show your support, comment on my videos, tell me what you would like to see. Um, I can already tell you right now that I'm going to be making a lot of classes with the AK-12 because it is my, it was my favorite gun at the GameStop release and it is my favorite gun now. As a matter of fact, I probably would do nothing to it besides put on like a stock or something like that because the iron sight on this gun is incredible. Um... The red dot sight is cool too, but I think it just gets in the way. I really think you don't need that. And with this new pick 13 system, I think you can invest your points into something else and um, really help out with your class setup and everything. So, um, guys, I'm going to head out and I'm going to go start playing the campaign because I think the campaign is going to be awesome. That's usually what I do. I play the campaign first. Then I come back to the game. Usually I'm better at the multiplayer as soon as I'm done. Overall, my 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 ruling on this game right now is it looks awesome. It looks amazing. If you have not bought the game yet because you're a little bit cynical about what it might hold in the future, I definitely recommend you do your homework, play with some friends who have the game, and see how you like it. So anyway guys, this is Laser saying peace out. Have a great night.